What's up guys? Yeah, look at what you're looking at here. A bunch of boxes full of good computer parts. I'm not building another computer for myself. This is going to be a computer build for my mom. She's uh, she's using a Dell Latitude E4300 right now and it's not working for everything she needs to do so it's just getting a little slow these days since it only has two gigs of RAM. So. Instead of just, you know, upgrading it since it's really not her computer, we're just gonna build a nice desktop for her. So, here we go. These are the parts. Let's go ahead and go through them. We have a Cooler Master Elite 311 case. It looks like that. Uh, this is the blue variety. Comes with a 420 watt PSU, but we ain't gonna use that piece of crap. Um, yeah, that's just how that's gonna go. We have my exact same motherboard. This is an Asus P8H61M LX3 R2.0. I actually have the same motherboard in my computer, as you can see there. So I just figured, well, you know, get the same motherboard. Why the hell not? It's a good board. She's not going to be doing a whole lot on this thing, so we don't need to upgrade everything anyway. Uh, we have my old Core i3 2100 processor there. Just a uh, leftover part from my build. Um, I upgraded to an i5 in this thing, so I just figured, you know, use my old i3. And then we have 4 gigs worth of Corsair Vengeance LP memory there, le also left over from my build. So, yeah. We have a 500 gigabyte Seagate, uh, I believe this is Barracuda drive. Uh, we have a, it's a 7200 RPM drive with 16 megabytes of cache, so this will be great for storing all of those, like, pictures and iTunes songs and crap like that. Uh, we have a Cooler Master Extreme Power Plus 500 watt. I have the same power supply in my system. Uh, it's a five, except mine's the 550 variety, so 50 watts less. This thing isn't going to use any power at all, really. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. We have a LG CD or Basic DVD RW. I have the same thing in my build, as you can see, same thing. So this build is pretty much, for the most part, what my build was, you know, a few months ago. Oh, and then we also have a um, D-Link Wireless N150 USB adapter, just so we can get on the internet. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do it in the same style that I did my build, which is open the motherboard first, and then get the processor and this on there. Um, and then we'll put it in the case, and we'll go from there. So, I shall be right back when I open the motherboard. Okay, we have the motherboard out. It's the exact same board that's in my system, as you can see, the exact same thing. Uh, came with all the same stuff, the back plane, or the back plate, uh, the motherboard user guide, CD, and of course, an ASUS sticker, just like on mine. We will definitely be putting it on there because I love stickers. Okay, let's go ahead and put the i3 on there, shall we? I'll put the cooler on separately because it's kind of way too hard to do that while you know, recording. Sorry about the shaky camera, if it is shaky at all. Uh, it probably is, though, just because, yeah. So, let's go ahead and pull the processor out of here. We have the Core i3 right there. Uh, actually, I'm going to unbox this stuff a little bit more, and then I'll get to the, the you know, installation. Alrighty, guys, sorry about that. I just had to put the camera down to, you know, open up the processor and the heatsink. So, Actually, let's go ahead and undo the motherboard clip first. Open that up. Remove the cover. There we go. I'm going to actually save this because I'm going to need it if I... Actually, I might need it for my motherboard. I'll save it for both of us in case one of us doesn't use the motherboard, which will probably be me because I usually upgrade my computer, not my mom. Okay, so uh, let me check this out. I think... I think it goes in like that. Just like that. Yep, there we go. She's in there. I'm gonna close the uh, tab there. And I'll go ahead and push down to lock it in. Bam. There we go. We have one Core i3, 2100. Here's the heatsink. I'm totally reapplying that because that is terrible. I'll use some nice Arctic Silver stuff. Hey Lucas, how you doing? Here. I can't, I can't, I can't play with you right now, sorry. Okay, um, let's go ahead and put the RAM in as well. 
Sorry I'm not using a tripod, I'm just too lazy to get it out, and my tripod is so tall that you wouldn't even be able to see anything anyway, it'd be too far away. So, I'm just going to install the RAM, Corsair Vengeance LP, which stands for low profile in case you didn't know. It's beginning to look extremely identical to my build when I first built it. There we go, we have the Vengeance RAM there, got the processor right there. We are ready to rock and roll. Let me just go ahead and reapply this thermal paste, put the heat sink right there, and we should be good to go from there. Yeah, so, yeah. That's looking like a completed job. Okay, we got the heat sink on. Um, got the CPU fan plugged in right there. And, uh, yeah, we are ready to rock and roll. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and open up the case and we are going to install this bad boy into there. So I'll be right back. We're in. Let me see if I can get this thing out. Alrighty, here's the Cooler Master Elite 311. I just figured I'd leave these two, these four things on. Uh, for now, until I get the computer all up and running. Oh uh, yeah, we got our power there. Nice. We got our USB, uh, headphone, microphone, USB, and reset. And then we have the hard drive LED access indicator there. Let's have a look inside this bad boy, huh? Alrighty. We have a dog being scared of a case. Sorry, dude. Uh, some of the a uh, crap load of power leads right here. Uh, optical audio, etc., etc. Not optical audio, just audio. Uh, we have a uh, LED fan there. Ooh, look at that little thing. Ooh, that's cool. Pretty colors. Um, yeah, just three pin or Molex. That's cool. Has, has an adapter. I like that. A really crappy power supply. A thermal master. ATX 12 volt. This is probably. Let's look at those ratings. <laughs> 30 amps. I couldn't put that out on a good day. That's funny. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna remove this piece of crap. Uh, one thing I like about it, though, and I like about this case, I mean, uh, is that it has a vent on the bottom, just like my nice, expensive Corsair case. That's pretty cool. Uh, we have uh, three five and a half inch bays or five and. 25.25, yeah. We have uh, seven, I believe. Uh, oops, sorry. What the freak am I doing with the camera? Seven, uh, two and a half inch hard drive bays. Three, like I said. And uh, yeah, has these punch out expansion slots, which will probably never be used in this particular system. I don't think my mom needs a dedicated graphics card or anything like that. So yeah, um, there's no front uh, fan, but there is a. Uh, foam pad in there so dust won't get in if you're if you're actually going to use the front fan so I don't actually have any extra fans with on me right now but you know whatever let me go ahead and get the power supply out of here and then we'll put the motherboard in and then we'll go from there so I'll be right back with that but that's just the case on oh, the side panels over there so yeah here's a quick look at this power supply at least it has a you know a big fan on the front but those capacitors in there, those right there, those big ones, those are Secon capacitors. I never heard of that before. Thermal Master, certified by Cooler Master. I don't, I don't really know how bad this thing is, but we're gonna replace it with a legit fifty-dollar Cooler Master 500 watt rather than this thing. So I don't, I don't really know how how bad this thing is, but I assume it's not great if it's included with a computer case that was only. 50 bucks. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and undo this. Go ahead and undo these cables. Oh, joy. Well, at least they're color coded. I like that part. The front panel, sometimes people ask me what's my least favorite part of building a computer, and that would be these little bastards right here. These things are a pain in the ass to get to work on the first try. But if you know your shiz and you look at the motherboard manual, I don't see why you wouldn't. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do some cable management, definitely. Uh, we have some HD audio and some AC97 audio, and uh, right there, anyway. And then we have the USB leads right there. 
And then here we just have all our hardware plus zip ties and wow, Ooh, what's that? I wonder what that is right there. Oh, that's a speaker. <laughs> okay, I'll install that just because um, that looks funny. We get the power supply, very cool. Um, oh, this is just like that silica gel replacement crap. So, yeah, let me go ahead and take the other side panel off and get the motherboard in there and then I'll be right back with that. Alrighty guys, the motherboard is in and everything is connected up. We got our front panel audio right to the left there. Uh, we have our USB. We have these stupid annoying front panel connectors. I don't know if those are right. I'll have to check it out once I'm done. But uh, I'm not purposely leaving these dangling because I don't know if they're right or not. With these though, I just did uh, cable management down there. And then we have our three pin fan connector right there. Very long cable, so I just tied it all up there. So yeah, motherboard's in. Now, uh, I think I'm going to put the drives in and then the power supply. And that should be it. So let me go ahead and put the optical drive and the hard drive in here. And I'll be right back with that. Okay. We have everything in the computer except the, f or, uh, yeah, we have everything except the power supply in there. We have our 500 gigabyte Seagate Barracuda uh, 7200. Or no, it doesn't say that, but it is a 7200 RPM drive with 16 megs of cache, so that's pretty sweet. We have our LG optical drive in the front there, and uh, everything's hooked up, as you can see. Pretty bare computer, I know, but you know, it's just a basic budget build, and it's it'll be a nice computer. So, um, it'll be fuller when I get that power supply in there, so let me go ahead and get that in there, and I'll be back. It is done. I'm not doing the world's best cable management because no one's ever going to see this thing anyway. The side panel is completely solid except for that fan port, fan hole. So, yeah, anyway, it doesn't look that bad, but I mean, yeah, there you go. I had to make some compromises. I couldn't run the, the four pin P, P, blah, the four pin for the CPU through these holes. I just had to route it through there, like, because the cable was too short. So that was kind of suckish. Yeah, I had some. I had some uh, problems where the cables would just wouldn't reach, so I couldn't do my best at cable management, so you have to have that cable dangling there the entire time, and then you have to worry about that coming off up there, but whatever. Anyway, yeah, everything's all hooked up. It should be ready to rock and roll. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the case cover on this thing, and we'll see if the thing turns on. That is one nice looking machine, don't you think? It's all done guys, there it is. After two hours of building, it's done. Well, not two, not two hours, maybe like, actually no, maybe like 40 minutes. Didn't take very long, didn't take that long anyway. Um, yeah, here it is, anyway, yeah, we have the Core i3 uh, sticker right there. We have the ASUS sticker over there. CD drive and the rest is history, so. Yeah, I did a little bit, little bit more on the cable management, but as you can see, you're not going to see it anyway, so I just put a couple more zip ties in since it came with a bunch of zip ties, but yeah, there it is, finished product. You guys ready to see if this thing actually works? I know I am. Alright, so I'm just using the crappy old PS2 keyboard and my tiny ass um, USB mouse because that's really all I have. I didn't want to use any of this stuff because I want to you know, use this computer while I'm setting this one up, so, yeah, I got it plugged in and everything, I got it plugged into the Dell over there, just because, like I said, I just want to use my main computer, let's see if it blows up when I press the power button, or flip the switch, no blowing uppy, no blowy uppy signs yet, okay, do we dare press the power button, what a, what is it, look at that, like a boss, like a freaking boss. Look at that! I get, I got all of the power connectors right. Hell yes! Freaking hate. That's the one part I hate about setup. Okay. 
there we go everything worked look at that Core i3 2100 4 gigs of RAM yeah it's stuck at 1333 just because of this processor here we go we have a Seagate 500 gigabyte hard drive my nipple let's press F1 to run the setup uh, yep there we go it is working no problem we are at good temps etc wait what we are good temps uh, voltage fan speeds fans are running yep fans are running very cool and yeah we're done <laughs> that's about it let's see it's running version 0406 that's pretty out of date I think I'm running 0806 on this one so I think I need to update that but we're done <laughs> it's working CD drive nice that's what I like to see alright and all the indicators lit up so everything's working so wow I'm very very proud of myself just for the sole reason that I got these stupid front panel connectors on right the rest was piece of cake so I'm gonna go ahead and install Windows 7 and I'll be back with that maybe let's read this it's very important there we go that should suffice Four sixty-five gigs. Nice. Very, very nice. And that'll be it for that. Now it just has to install itself. I'll be back. Alrighty, guys. It's all set up and ready to go. I just gotta install some more programs and then I should be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and look in the the uh, thing and do the WEI thing and then we are done let's go ahead and rate the computer ah forget it We'll do it, but like, I'm not gonna wait for it. I'll post it in the description or something. You guys know the specs of this thing. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, and uh, yeah, that's another successful computer build. See you guys later. Ah, okay, fine. We have a 7.1 for hard drive, a 5.9 for RAM, a 5.1 for graphics, 5.6 for gaming, and 5.9 for hard drive. Not bad. This computer should definitely suffice for its use, for the things it's going to be used for. Alright, there's the build. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Later.